Hi! Welcome to my poor crafting table. Um, I did put some wax paper down though to try and protect it a little more. I love my portable crafting table. Today we're going to try and make some custom nail polish. Um, so our basis of this nail polish, um, you're supposed to use clear to begin with, but you know, I had to dig around and see what I had. So I have some of this Orly matte top coat um, that I don't like because it's not matte, it just makes it satin. So that kind of defeated the purpose. It's still three quarters full, so that will be one of them. And the other one I didn't have quite clear. So I'm going to mix this Nail Aid three minute um, artificials. Uh, no, it's not the stuff. No, um, but it's not quite full, so I'm gonna top it off with some Beauty Secrets Top Coat Fast Finish Polish Dryer, which it does dry super fast, but you're only gonna get a day out of that manicure. So first off, I'm gonna combine, and if you're looking at it going, well, one's kinda blue and one's kinda pink, this one I'm aiming for purple, so that's fine. I'm just gonna combine these, and get a full bottle, um, we'll see how that goes. I was very shocked to find out that I had actually thrown away most of my, whoops, most of my empty bottles, or nearly empty bottles. I'm really bad about keeping them. But apparently, I did a really good thing and got rid of most of them, which sucked for today. <laughs> All right. Well, that's nice and full now. Shake that together. See if they'll combine. Yeah, da, da, da. I'm not sure how that's going to work with two different formulas, but oh, interesting things are happening. I don't care. You know, here at Torn Inc., we try all kinds. This one's going to be super fun. Look at how bubbly it is. <laughs> oh, wow. It's fine. So, what are we going to color this stuff with? Well, I figure. Since this is actually a better quality, we'll try to make the classy one in this one. So for that, I am going to use the remnants of a Maybelline Extra Eyes. I did not, however, run out of makeup that I still have dregs of. Um, I'm actually going to uh, chop up the rest of this middle color. And I have some sparkle. I think this is like no boundaries or something. Um, some milligan. Milligant, yes. Mineral eyeshadow in Elegant, which apparently my brain thinks is Milligant. So there's this powdery sparkle stuff I'm going to add to that. Those will go in that one. And in this one, hopefully the bubbles will settle. Um, my Graham recently sent me some stuff in the mail, and this one is busted. But you see the pink, so I'm going to get the pink that's already broken and I'm gonna mix it with this blue because y'all I don't wear blue eyeshadow it's pretty but I don't put blue eyeshadow on so all I'm gonna use is one of these suckers and I'm gonna jab and turn it into powder and then I'm gonna pour that powder into the respective things so let's it's not very hard to break up the powder, especially when it's older powder. You know, to make this really nice and soft, I'm gonna grab my mortar and pestle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Back yes, of course I have a mortar and pestle. It's tiny though, look, it's so small. Any hoodles yet, I figured we'll do that. Maybe that way we can get a finer grind as it were. Um, is that all of it? Do, 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 do. Okay. That'll be nice and light. And then we'll just dump in some of this stuff. Ugh, it's a mess. I don't know if that's enough. We'll see. Let's just Combine, shall we? So 
that's what our color looks like. Um, I was going for something kind of nude and classy. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, da, 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 da. Yep, that's about my skin tone. So, and then I guess we'll just pour this around the edges here. Pour this stuff into our matte top coat and see how that works. Ha <laughs> ha! It's like science and chemistry. Sort of. It's not. It's not even remotely like science and chemistry. But, you know, I can pretend. I should probably use some sort of funnel. Okay. Back in a sec. I'm going to make a little funnel real yeah. quick. Chance that I actually had a funnel small enough and wouldn't have to make one out of paper. Um, it turns out I do. I don't know why. Alrighty. Pop that in there. Pop you in here. We'll go rinse that out shortly. Get down in there. Powdery, powdery. And it's all stuck in my funnel. <laughs> oh, not all. Just some. Just jam you down in there. There we go. All right. Don't know why it's all stuck in my funnel. Oh, it's not. It's in. Yay! Okay, let's put the lid on and give it a shake. La 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 la. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks kind of clumpy to me. I don't know. All right, I'll tell you, this is what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to let that, shook that up, I'm going to let that sit and rest for just a little bit. I'm going to go rinse this out, rinse this off, um, and then we'll try again with the pink and blue and see if we can make purple. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, let's back. try for a purple. I don't know if this will work or not. This is why it's torn tries. Oh, it's so messy. Let's see if we can at least get the majority of it in there. Da, da, da. Scoop you in there. Well, this one will have a lot more powder, which is nice. I can see if I can clean all this pink off my two bronzes in there. So they'll still be usable. Not too bad. Yay. Okay. So we have plenty of pink. And I'm just going to put in all of the blue. Um, because why not? Poke, 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 poke. Oh, well, maybe not all the blue. Maybe it'll go too dark. I don't know. Oh, that sure is pretty though, that blue. Yeah, you guys, I just don't do blue eyeshadow. It's, it's, it's not my jam. There was a lot. Well, you can't say they skimped on the eyeshadow there. Okay, let's just do that much. Um... Maybe I'll save the rest of that blue if this works at all to make another color. Let's see if we can combine this into a purple. That's mostly blue. The pink didn't do a whole lot. But yeah, I guess it's purple-ish. Maybe it'll be really cool and swirly. I have no idea. All right. Let's stick it. Oh, look, our bubbles went away. Awesome. It did end up combining. Well, now we know we can do that. If you've got half bottles of top coat or base coat or whatever you want to combine, apparently, even if they're different brands, they will combine. Okay. Dump all that all right. in there. We had a bit of a malfunction on that one. I don't know. It's so, it's such a, <laughs> I'm just going to blue all over my hands. It's such a fine powder. It just didn't want to go through the uh, funnel, but that's okay. We got most of it in there. So, let's give that a shake. Let's see how this one turns out. Um, not even remotely purple. Uh, definitely not enough pink. But we do have an interesting shade of like a pearly blue. Um, again, it is like clumpy though. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it looks when we paint our nails with it. Won't we? 
which we're about to try with the first one while this one sits for a little bit and dissolves and does its thing. All right, let's get all our junk out of the way. And just move that like that. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> all right, I just want to see how it looks. So, um... I'm not even going to worry about a base coat. We'll just shove it on there so we can see what it looks like. Right? Right. So let's try the first, which should be our classy version. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, it's super sheer, um, which I guess I should have expected. Um, but, you know, we'll see. There are still a couple of clumps, but it's not as, as terribly clumpy as I thought it was going to be. I have to say. But it is really, really sheer. Which, for someone like me, who has, um, like, my nails always look tragic, unless they are covered in polish. You know, that's a thing. So there's those three. Um... You see it is a matte, so it, it, should, it should dry like satin because of the top coat that I used. Um, not a very pretty color though, is it? Mm, maybe I can add some more sparkle or something to it. Um, you can't add glitter though. I've done that. Just adding glitter to clear polish. Something in nail polish um, takes all of the color off of glitter. It's bad. Okay, let's try the blue. Maybe it looks a lot more vibrant. Maybe it will go on a more vibrant color. Still really sheer. <laughs> oh, and this one's super clumpy. Super clumpy. You seen it? Yeah. But in its defense, it hasn't had as long to sit, so we shall see. I'll do another coat. This was a little better. Um, I'll do another coat. It's not as sheer um, as the other. Let this dry, do another coat, and then we'll see how it looks. Okay? Okay. Alright, that's two coats down. I will say, since we uh, mixed in that super dry top coat with this stuff, this stuff dries really fast. <laughs> so here we go. This this is the here's our experiment. Um, the reason I didn't like this matte top coat remains the reason I'm not particularly fond of this polish. Uh, I just don't like. If it's gonna be matte, it needs to be matte. This is such a weird finish. But um, as far as the color goes, it is super super duper sheer and it's not super duper pretty it's kind of yellow so I think what I'm gonna end up doing is finding some bronze or pink I'm gonna go look and see if I can find one of mine that's kind of broken up and add and see if I can't improve upon this color however this blue looks pretty good that's only two coats um it's not it's a little sheer, but it's not super sheer. I mean, two coats, it's almost full coverage. It's still slightly sheer. Three coats would definitely totally be good enough. Um, and it's interesting because you saw the blue we started with is actually this shade of blue. And it's lighter since I added that pink. So as far as, you know, creating some sort of custom shade, woohoo, a-okay. Um, so yes, I guess I would recommend... Um, I would recommend this if you're one of those people like me that you have like three or four bottles of clear coat that you have this much left. Um, combine them all, find some busted up eyeshadow or eyeshadow colors that maybe you received um, or bought thinking you'd like them and didn't like them. Bust them up, make some custom nail polish colors uh, because this is pretty good. Um, and I did notice that uh, the weird chunks that I was worried about, um, as it sits, they end up dissolving. So uh, no worries, you just have to kind of mix it up and let it sit for a minute. But uh, 
hey, we got one pretty decent polish and then one that's needs some work. But I would say that that was successful and it is a way to use up things that you would otherwise just trash. So, um, yay! Uh, let me know if you try it and, you know, paint your nails or your little toenails or something and show me what creations you came up with. Uh, this worked surprisingly well. Yay! Okay, I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow with hair. Um, I know I don't know what we're doing yet. Okay, have a great day. Bye!